Welcome to Flan Blitz! Hello everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video in which we're gonna talk about premium tanks once and for all. Simply because in this video uh, we're gonna talk about the top three most expensive tanks that ever touched the ground of World of Tank Blitz. And by expensive I don't mean credits, I mean literally money. And to do that, it's simple. You gotta understand that uh, we are gonna take as a measurement the first time the tanks were released because of course if i'm gonna talk about all tanks in this video the more they come back into the shop the cheaper the price not for every one of them but the cheaper the price most of the time and so that's what we're gonna base ourselves on to do that video now before starting i want to remind you one thing we finally passed the gap where there are more premium tanks in the game than tech tree once. Uh, should we congrats ourselves? I don't think so, especially Wargaming, but hey, not my game, not my problem. Let's jump directly into it. I like it, Kaji. Number one, the Scorpion G. This German tier 8 premium tank destroyer was among the most expensive tank of all time, simply because it came out when Wargaming first started to use crates massively. And before, two years back. We didn't have the charms, you know the things that allow you to get the tank guaranteed after a certain times of opening the crates. Here no, you didn't have that, you had to pay 2 euros and 29 cents for each crates. But hey, maybe you think, oh that's not expensive, wait wait wait, why is it not expensive? Because the chances of getting the tank were only 1% like really 1% chances of getting the tank. You had to pay 80 euros, maybe 90 euros, even 100 of euros just to get it. And in average, it took players 200 euros to get their hand on this tank. And I can understand why Wargaming did that because big brain Wargaming, what did they do? Really simple. They knew this tank was overhyped due to World of Tank PC where it's among the most sell tank of all time. It's the best seller. Simply because the Scorpion G, uh, maybe the Wargaming made 50 million, something like that, if I remember correctly from Quickie Baby video, just with this one tank. And World of Tank Blitz wanted to surf on that hype by putting the tank in crates and make sure a lot of people will gamble. That being said, is it a good tank? Is it a good tank? Overall, yes, it's a really great tank, even if you lack a lot of armor, but armor is not what you want to play with concerning the Scorpion G. It's all about the gun, the mobility, and the footage. <laughs> it's one of the greatest tanks ever. Or at least it was, because back in the days when this tank was released, it was even more OP than before, uh, than now, sorry, simply because right now you have a lot of derp guns that can counter this tank. Back in the days when people didn't know you could HE the tank and didn't know that you, uh, and didn't play, sorry, the T-49, of course it was way easier for this tank to su survive on the battlefield. But nowadays, even if you see less and less scorpions, it's still an extremely competitive tank that you really want to acquire in your garage, as long as it's not coming because it's not worth it. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Number two, the T-22 Media. You all know this tank. It's one of the most known tanks uh, simply because it's broken. It's literally broken. You have an amazing armor profile. You have an amazing gun. You have an, an amazing mobility. Everything is amazing about this tank. And you can think it justifies its price because nowadays when you see it, it comes generally in crates. And maybe one day we're going to see it in crates with charms. Who knows? But for the moment, Wargaming doesn't want to do it simply because the tank is completely broken. But... If you wanted to acquire this tank in the first place, the first time it was released, it was two years ago during the Christmas event. Wargaming, for those of you who are not familiar with the Christmas event or just tried the game right now and never had the pleasure, <laughs> pleasure of playing to uh, the pay to win, sorry, Christmas event, it's simple. You have to spend a shit ton of money to get the tank guaranteed, or you can try your luck by getting the free-to-play way and have a chance to get it into a crate which will grant you the tank with only 1% chance of drop. 
that's nothing. Let's say it, if you wanted the tank, you had to buy it straight away. And how did you do that, buying this tank straight away? You had to complete an event with a Christmas tree. You had to gamble to get snowflakes. Snowflakes um, amounts were not guaranteed. You could have 5 or maybe 15. It was all depending on your luck. You had to buy those crates to get those snowflakes. With this, the amount of snowflakes, you had to build up the stages of your tree, the, the Christmas tree. And after, you could buy the tank directly when you reached the top level of the Christmas tree. How much did it cost? 400 euros. 400 euros for this tank. If you were buying from Amazon App Store, which makes things cheaper. If you bought it from Steam or App Store, it would have cost you 500 to get that tank. 500 euros. I don't know, I think Wargaming has a problem with what Christmas means. Christmas is all about giving, not stealing, but <laughs> I'm not the one running the company after all. So yeah, you had to spend four, four, 500 sorry, heroes to get that tank, and that was insane. Just a few number of people got the tank from direct purchase, we were like 20. All the YouTubers got it. Uh, all the YouTubers and some rich kids or rich parents as well because just because you are an adult doesn't mean you can't uh, play it's kind of hot and so um, that's pretty much what it was about concerning the T22 medium but was it worth it to spend that much money of course no it's not worth it it's never worth it to spend 500 euros on these kind of things but in my defense I'm a YouTuber so I can do it and I did I spent 500 euros to get it and uh, so yeah overall that's pretty much what this tank was all about it's just an insane tank which justifies the price for Wargaming I guess and they knew the tank was gonna be hyped because this is a crazy tank to get in a world of tank PC that's why it's in this top that's why it's one of the most expensive tank but don't worry it's not the most expensive tank of all time of course Finally, the most expensive tank of all time for the moment, because of course, don't worry, Wargaming is going to come up with new tanks that are going to be way expensive, more expensive, the VK-901P, the tier 10 collectible German tank. This tank is not even that good. I mean, okay, it's a good tank, but if you compare it with the T22 Medium, you would rather drive a T22 Medium than a VK-901P. And it's still more expensive, because it was available same for the Christmas event. Um, every Christmas event is a scam, I mean, by now we all know that and we all accept it it's simply because we can't fight back. But this tank, main strength is probably the money it cost to get it the first time. Literally, you had to spend 550 euros if you wanted to get it guaranteed into the last christmas event one year ago i mean the tank is good but it's just a traditional super heavy german tank like nothing to be extremely nothing that is worth spending that much money into a tank you see but hey i did it anyway because i'm retarded big brain but overall that's what it's all about uh, this tank is the most expensive tank of all time it's literally just the combination between a mouse and a new 100 i guess because it has the gun of the mouse it has the armor profile of a new 100 okay it's really armored but is it worth spending 550 euros you're the only one that can answer because it's your money. That's pretty much what the VK was all about and it gives us bad feelings about Wargaming and especially what is coming for us this year. Because if they increase exponentially the price of each Christmas tank every year, this year we should have to pay 600 euros just to get the new tank. And talking about the new tank, I'm gonna present it to you right now. Finally, Honorable mention to one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive tank of all time that is coming into the game for this Christmas, the AMX M454, the tier 10 French collectible heavy tank. This tank will cost you around 600 euros, let's be honest, because if Wargaming increases the price by 50 euros every time, we are gonna climb to the point where it it's 600 euros. 
I don't have anything else to say. I mean, the, s some jokes write themselves. Literally. Thank you all for watching, and see you soon.